Nintendo recently showed off gameplay for Tears of the Kingdom. It included Link's new abilities, and one of the most exciting abilities is Fuse. That's going to allow Link to fuse items together to create interesting combinations of items. Well, today I want to take a closer look at Fuse, what it is, how it might work, what we can fuse together, plus look at what you want to fuse together as well. I also want to take a look at the impact that this could have on breakable weapons, plus look at the potential for fusing armor as well. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for all the latest Zelda content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. But before we get into it today, let me know in the comments what items you want to fuse together in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Well, the recent gameplay showcase for Tears of the Kingdom was exciting for many reasons. You know, we can rewind an object's movement with recall. We can build all kinds of structures and vehicles with Ultra Hand, plus also travel through solid matter with Ascend. However, the most exciting ability coming with Tears of the Kingdom for me is definitely Fuse, and that allows Link to combine two items, creating interesting new versions of these tools and weapons. Well, let's have a look back at the gameplay demo to see how Fuse might work in the game. So first of all, Link picks up a tree branch off one of these sky islands and stands next to a boulder. And we likely have to press a button to start the fuse process. And then you can see energy joining Link and the boulder with a couple of options. So you've got the choice here to fuse the boulder to either Link's stick or the old wooden shield. And we can see the result of the boulder fused to the stick. It looks like a makeshift hammer of some kind. And we can also see later in the trailer what it would look like if Link fused the boulder to the shield. And we see another example of Fuse, Link using a long stick and fusing that together with a farmer's pitchfork making a very long weapon with extended range allowing Link to keep enemies at a distance. So we've seen Link fuse weapons and items like sticks, pitchforks, shields and rocks. There's also another type of fuse, this time with arrows, allowing Link to fuse arrows with different monster parts left behind when Link kills monsters out there in Hyrule. So back in Breath of the Wild, while you can make elixirs and medicines with the monster parts, they were largely underused, and this is a very, very creative way for Link to use those parts. So Link fuses a leaf to an arrow, then changes his mind, and fuses some ice choo-choo jelly to an arrow, creating an ice arrow. So Link can also fuse a keys eyeball to an arrow, creating homing arrows. Well, towards the end of the fuse section, Al Numa gets a little bit more creative with the fuse options, including fusing a puff mushroom to his shield, which when attacked explodes in a spore cloud, cloaking Link from the enemy, allowing Link to sneak up on the enemy and kill them nice and easily. Link then briefly fuses a rock to his shield, which I assume then makes the shield more durable. Now what stands out to me is just how simple this is going to be. So you stand next to an item, press fuse, and then select what you want to fuse the item to in terms of your inventory or the items in your hand. Or when you're drawing a bow, you can open up your materials menu and fuse materials to arrows. Now the impact fuse is going to have on gameplay is mind boggling at this point. So one of the great things about the Tears of the Kingdom gameplay demo is Al Numa inviting us to imagine what we can do in the full game. So here in the gameplay trailer, if Link is able to fuse sticks and stones, mushrooms and shields and elements to arrows to create more deadly arrows, what else are we going to be able to fuse together? Well, fusing melee weapons like swords, that is going to be fun, or a long stick and a sword, creating more range like we saw with that pitchfork, fusing together a dagger and maybe a boomerang, that's going to be quite a deadly combination, I'd really like to see Link fuse together elements and swords so we could create fire blades, ice blades, or even electric blades as well. So a major impact fuse are going to have is weapon durability and stats. We saw in the gameplay demo Link use a stick on the zone eye construct and then the stick had regular durability so it broke after a few hits. Then Link fuses together a rock and a stick and you can see the attack stats have gone up by plus two when that fuse process happens. Link then uses this new fused rock and stick combination to kill two constructs, which says to me there's been an increase in weapon durability. 
Now, breakable weapons in Breath of the Wild is a very divisive topic. You either love it or you absolutely hate it. Now, I've seen people in the comments of videos here on Triforce Times saying they aren't going to buy Tears of the Kingdom if Nintendo decide to bring back breakable weapons. Now, I'm hoping that Fuse is a partial solution to this. Personally, I quite like breakable weapons as this promotes exploration and doesn't allow us to get too attached to a single weapon like we did in the past. Now, by fusing items or ingredients to our weapons, we could increase the durability and hold on to that item a little longer, but ultimately, I do think they still will break. So the fusability has massive potential with arrows and tears of the kingdom. In Breath of the Wild, we could purchase different types of arrows, so fire, ice, electricity, and bombs. You know, looking at the gameplay trailer footage, I think we are going to remove the need to buy different types of arrows as we're going to fuse monster parts with arrows to create new and interesting projectiles. So we've seen the homing arrows already. When combined with the Keysai, that is instantly very cool and one of the big wow moments in the gameplay demo. It's going to be interesting to see exactly what we can fuse to arrows. So we saw the ice choo-choo jelly to create ice arrows and I'm assuming you can do that with all the other choo-choo jelly types. So fire, electric, ice arrows are all going to be nice and easy to create. Bomb arrows, on the other hand, well, they were one of the best weapons in Breath of the Wild, but so far, we haven't seen bombs as part of Link's arsenal. Bombs were very easy to come by in Breath of the Wild, as we could simply use the Sheikah Slate to create bombs at will, albeit behind a countdown timer. So we've seen Link's new abilities include Fuse, Ascend, Ultra Hand, and Recall, but we haven't yet seen any bomb abilities. So maybe bombs are going to come back into Tears of the Kingdom as an item that we collect rather than craft, or maybe we use another item to create explosive arrows. Now that is one of the many details. We're going to have to wait and see until the 12th of May to find out. One thing I would like to understand are the limitations behind Fuse. So can we fuse more than two items together? From the gameplay demo, we saw many examples of two items being fused, but can we do more? It is Fuse about combining two items, and then maybe Ultra Hand is about sticking together more items, because in the gameplay demo, we stuck together at least four or five items with Ultra Hand. I think it was three logs and two motors. Also, I'd really like to know if we can fuse armor together. At the moment, we've only seen items or weapons, but I would love to fuse some armor together to create some really, really interesting combinations. Well, before we finish up today, I did put a call out before this video to see what you wanted to fuse together in the game. And we did get some very, very good suggestions. So LM234 says, I wonder if the Fallen Stars from Breath of the Wild will have any special powers when fused. And I also definitely think we're going to be able to fuse the weapons from the tops of enemies' heads too. Well, LM234, Fallen Stars are definitely interesting. I imagine they would explode when they hit. So maybe we can fuse them with a long stick or a pole and then throw them like a javelin for explosive effects. I do think you are 100% right when it comes to the weapon parts on enemies' heads. So we're going to be farming enemies for weapon parts plus the ingredients to create interesting new combinations with our arrows. Next up we've got Sonks and Sonks says, I'm curious to see how a shield and a long stick would fuse together. So I like this one. We're going to have to be keeping our enemies at arm's length with that idea. So good one, Sonks. Thank you very much for commenting. Well, next up, we got Victor C. And Victor says, how about an arrow and a flower to summon a flower blight? Or on a more serious note, maybe a shield and the choo-choo jelly. So maybe when you defend, you can freeze or burn the enemies. I do like that idea. That is very, very cool. Perhaps a long stick and meat too. Maybe this is a way to attract the goblins. Meat and shield. I have no idea what it could do, though. Although that does sound quite funny. For the arrows, maybe apples or octorok balloons sounds interesting. So there are definitely a few good ideas in there, Victor. I do like the idea of choo-choo jelly to a shield. Maybe you could create elemental shields which are strong to certain attacks. So if you've got an enemy that has a fire ability or a fire sword or something like that, maybe if you create an ice shield, that would go really far in terms of protecting you against the fire enemies. You know, a long stick with meat sounds pretty fun. You could stand over a Bokoblin camp and draw them out into a trap. Well, next up, Legend of Mario says tree trunk arrows. So very good, although I'm not really sure they would fly very easily, although I like the simplicity of the idea. 
And then finally we've got Mean Boy, and Mean Boy says, stick any or other one-handed weapon to a bomb barrel that you can throw. I definitely think that's a good idea. It'd be great to pick up a bomb barrel and throw it from distance. Well, Fuse has the potential to change the game in a really, really positive way. So let me know in the comments what you think of Fuse and share your fusion ideas with the Triforce Times community. Well, that is it today. Well, that is it today for this look at Fuse in Tears of the Kingdom. I think it's really, really exciting stuff. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. For more Legend of Zelda content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to Triforce Times. Or you can check me out on Twitter at Triforce Times. Well, if you enjoyed this video or you found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, you can check out all the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.